getting deep inside The temperatures just made me shiver But now I'm glad to be alive Radio station. Okay.
Murphy of St. Gregory the Great Church. Lord, on this Veterans Day, 2015, 70 years after the end of World War II, and 97 years after the armistice, which ended the war to end all wars, we gather your presence today. Remember all those who served our nation in war and peace, and especially those who gave their final measure of devotion. We might remain a free people. We ask your blessings on all those who serve today in distant and hostile places. We pray that you keep them safe and watch over their families in their absence. We ask you, O oh Lord, to inspire those in leadership positions on all levels of government to strive to do their absolute best to make decisions that will benefit the lives and future of those they serve. During this month of November, as we celebrate our national holiday of Thanksgiving, we give special thanks for your most precious gift to us, the gift of being a free people. For these and for all good things, we give you thanks and praise. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Deacon Murphy. You may be seated. We are joined today by many local and state officials who we thank for the public service and continued support of our veterans and service members. With us from our General Assembly, State Representative Jan Giegler, State Representative David Arcanti, and State Representative Jan Giegler is also our Town Clerk elected in Danbury. From our City Council, Council President Joe Cavo, Councilman Fred Visconti. From our City of Danbury, our City Treasurer Dan Jowdy. We also have a new councilman elect, Michael Esposito, and also joining us, former Mayor Gene Eriquez and our Chief of Police, Al Baker. Please acknowledge them for their public service for our city and state. I'd like to call on the commander of the Disabled American Veterans of Post 25, Harvey Strode, for some remarks. Commander? Good morning, everyone, and thank you for attending this. It's a great honor for the DAV to represent the Veterans Council of Danbury. I would like to introduce my senior vice president, George Smith. We have tried to put on a program that was worthy of uh, this day. I can tell you that my great-grandfather served in the Spanish-American War my grandfather in World War I, my father in World War II, me in Vietnam, and my son in Iraq. That is five generations. <laughs> the only problem with that is in 1918, it was supposed to be the war to end all wars. Unfortunately, it has not. And I want to thank the parents who brought their children to see what a veteran is. And a veteran is somebody who came home back to his family. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you and the many generations of your family for their service. Also joining us today is State Representative, uh, is State Representative Robert Godfrey. Thank you for being here, Robert. Ladies and gentlemen, it's now an honor for me to call on the mayor of our great city of Danbury, and also an Army veteran himself, the Honorable Mayor Mark Fowler. Good morning, and thank you, uh, Tom, for all your hard work, um, both here uh, in Danbury, uh, uh, working with our veterans, but also uh, on your state post. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Tom uh, doesn't necessarily like to uh, shout from the rooftops, but I will, because we're so proud of him, but he works very closely with the Department of Veterans Affairs and serves as their legislative liaison and it's a new position for him. So congratulations to you. Thank you for looking out for Connecticut today. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we gather here as we were asked by President Wilson to do at the conclusion uh, of World War I. He asked that we be here on 11-11-11 to spend a moment, to spend some time, to think and to honor and to reflect on those individuals who, as Lincoln said and as Deacon Bill Murphy often says, gave the last full measure of devotion, but also 
as was just said, on those veterans that have come back home here to the United States of America. We have done this for the last 80 plus years. So it's important that you're here this morning to take a moment to think about the things that President Wilson asked us to think about. You know, somebody once said that courage is doing what you're afraid to do, but doing it anyways. Doing what you're afraid to do, but doing it anyways. In essence, that's really what we come here to thank our veterans for. Any veteran that tells you that they weren't afraid, they weren't worried, they weren't nervous before a major operation or going into battle or just showing up to boot camp isn't really being straight with you. All of us were afraid at one point or another. And all the people that stand behind me and all the veterans that are in the stands today went out and did it anyways. They did it to protect our way of life. They did it to protect our right to be here this morning and peaceably assemble and celebrate all the things that our veterans stand for. They did it because they believe in the very tenets of the Bill of Rights. And they did it because they cared about their communities, about their state, about their country. The gift that they've given us is absolutely incredible, something that I don't think we always take the time out to reflect on. We stand here today because of you that are in the stands today. On behalf of this city, on behalf of the 85,000 residents, I want to thank you for your contribution to this great land of ours, to our city, to our state. I want to also thank all of the people that have come out here to be supportive of this event, our Air Force ROTC, our Honor Guard, that's with us, the Police Honor Guard that's outside, the Danbury Council of Veterans, the Disabled American Veterans, St. Joseph's School. This is truly a community event because it's our time to say thank you to them. Now, unfortunately, we have many veterans that are coming back from a myriad of different conflicts that span the globe. Men and women today, right now as we speak, are deployed all over uh, this world that we live in. Just recently, one of our police officers came to see me and said, Mayor, I've got to go back and, and do another tour. This will be his third tour in Afghanistan. Three tours in a very, very dangerous place. But you know, he didn't come in and he wasn't nervous. And he, 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 was, he wasn't mad about it. He was proud to serve our country. He knows the risks. He's afraid but he knows that it has to be done by somebody. That is true courage that we celebrate today. That is an honor that it gives to me to stand here before you and thank them. So on behalf of the city of Danbury, I want to thank every single veteran that's out there. I want to encourage you to reach out to those new veterans that are returning. They are struggling with a myriad of different issues, from housing to homelessness to reintegrating into society. And I want you to take a moment over the next year, to next Veterans Day, to do one thing just do one thing to help a veteran around you in some way. We live in the greatest nation on earth. Don't you ever forget that. Don't you let anybody ever tell you any different. And it's because of the veterans that are here today. May God bless you. May God bless our great country. Thank you, Your Honor. Now have the placing of the memorial wreath by Mayor Mark Bowden and Commander Harvey Strode for the Disabled American Veterans. Please rise. One moment, please. Eddie. Please be seated for a moment.
Also, special thanks to the Danbury Police Department Honor Guard for their participation, St. Joseph's Choir, the Danbury High School Air Force Junior ROTC program. Finally, please remember two upcoming events. On Friday is the Vietnam Commemoration Ceremony at 10 a.m. Friday in front of the Vietnam Monument here on the War Memorial Grounds. And on Monday, December 7th, is Pearl Harbor Day. 10 a.m. ceremonies will be held here at the War Memorial inside the gym. Is there anything else, Mr. Commander Strode? Thank you. Yes. Following the ceremony, both the American Legion and the Disabled American uh, Veterans Post will be hosting lunches for veterans. Uh, the, the American Legion also uh, will have food for guests, but at a, uh, at a minimal charge. That's immediately following the ceremony. Thank you again for being here. I now ask you to rise for Deacon Murphy in the delivery of the benediction. Oh, you gotta go work it. Lord, as we go our separate ways on this Veterans Day, we pause again to remember all those we honor today. Lord God, we give thanks for all those who have served our nation in war and peace. Remember in a most special way those who have made the ultimate sacrifice in order that freedom continue to be ours. We pray for all those serving in harm's way at this very moment, for those trained to serve in hostile places and for those recuperating from wounds received in service. Help us to never forget the sacrifice of those we honor today. We ask your blessings on all who are gathered here today. Grant us safely home, and give peace to our troubled world. Amen. Thank you, Deacon Murphy. Thank you all for such a great showing here today. God bless and Godspeed.